Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. I'm afraid everyone has heard about how powerful ASML of the Netherlands is now. As a global lithography machine giant, it not only occupies about 90% of the global lithography machine market, but also has an exclusive monopoly on the most advanced EUV lithography machine. You should know that almost all chips below 7 nanometers process in the world currently require EUV lithography machines, and wafer giant TSMC relies on ASML. However, as technology continues to advance, ASML's road ahead is getting narrower and narrower. Although ASML is very powerful now, it was just an inconspicuous small workshop at the beginning. When ASML started, Nikon and Canon were the two heroes of lithography machines in Japan at the time. They defeated the American lithography machine heads, and ASML didn't take them seriously at all. The turning point was the subsequent dispute over the light source route of DUV lithography machines. At that time, Nikon and Canon's DUV lithography machines used 193 nanometers wavelength light sources. In this case, they invested heavily and continued to develop 157 nanometers wavelength light sources. However, the 157 nanometers light source technology encountered problems and failed to break through but Nikon and Canon were still unwilling to give up. In fact, there was an opportunity in front of them at that time, but they did not seize it, and they did not lose the opportunity to continue to be the overlord. That is, TSMC's Lin Benjian proposed immersion lithography technology, which can achieve a smaller 134 nanometers wavelength light source. However, Nikon and Canon have invested tens of billions in research and development for this, and do not want to change because of this, so they rejected Lin Benjian. At this time, ASML saw an opportunity. The technology was not as good as Nikon and Canon, so it was better to give it a try. Maybe it would succeed and find a way out. As a result, ASML really succeeded, and Immersion DUV occupied the market in one fell swoop. Since then, ASML has continued to cheat and further developed more advanced EUV lithography machines. Nikon and Canon not only gave up the throne of lithography machine giants, but also widened the gap with ASML. It is not easy to turn over again. In fact, in the process of EUV technology research and development, Nikon also actively strived for it. At that time, Intel, an American company, took the lead in organizing the development of EUV technology. Nikon and ASML both applied to join the alliance to jointly develop 13.5 extreme ultraviolet light source technology. However, Nikon was rejected because Japanese chips once surpassed the United States, so ASML had exclusive EUV technology. Therefore, ASML is the only company that can produce high-end EUV lithography machines so far. Because of Lin Bunjian's technology, TSMC later had the privilege of purchasing EUV lithography machines first. Now more than half of the world's EUV is bought by TSMC. Of course, EUV lithography machines are constantly iterating and upgrading like chip manufacturing processes, but only some of the technologies are upgraded. But as chip manufacturing processes develop to below 3 nanometers, EUV faces the iterative upgrade of more advanced technologies. 
So ASML launched the next generation of cutting-edge EUV, the high NA EUV lithography machine, with NA equal to 0.55. Simply put, NA is the numerical aperture. The larger the value, the more light can enter, the greater the power of lithography, the higher the resolution, and the more advanced the chip made with it. The previous EUV numerical aperture was 0.33. However, what ASML did not expect was that this more advanced EUV was not very popular, especially TSMC has not been active, and even publicly stated that it will not adopt high NA in recent years, and the original EUV can continue to be used. At present, only Intel has decided to adopt high NA, and two units have arrived. It is said that Samsung has also bought one. TSMC is no longer as active as before. Of course, there are reasons for it. After all, it has purchased the most EUV and has spent a lot of money. If it is replaced, the cost is not a small amount. Besides, high NA costs 400 million US dollars. The previous EUV was only 150 million US dollars per unit, and TSMC now has the technology to use the original EUV to achieve 1.4 nanometers. This is a big blow to ASML. TSMC is the biggest potential buyer. If TSMC does not support it, it will be difficult for ASML to recover the tens of billions of R&D it has invested. Even so, ASML continues to develop more advanced cutting-edge EUV. Next, ASML will develop HypoNA with NA of 0.75, which has a larger numerical aperture than high NA. It is said that the price will be further increased and may double to 800 million US dollars per unit. It is hard to imagine who will be able to afford it at that time. ASML may be very confident. TSMC will definitely adopt it in the future if it does not use it now, so it continues to develop. But as the cost continues to rise, it is not that TSMC does not want to use it, but that there will be fewer and fewer customers who can afford it in the future. In this regard, some foreign media directly commented that ASML's future is getting narrower and narrower, and it should not continue to move forward on the existing route.